Okay, hopefully this is going to be a fun little shootout between antennas here. Uh, I have two antennas hooked up to my RSP Duo. I'm running the latest version V1.32 of SDR Uno. At least I think that's the latest version. And tuner number one is a $330 Wellbrook antenna. And tuner number two is uh, some RG6 coax hooked up to a $12 New Elect uh, 9 to 1 Balin and off of the Balin is about 33 feet of 16 gauge wire maybe 14 gauge wire uh, stretched across my 6 foot privacy, privacy fence in the backyard so coax $12 Balin wire so let's see what we got here I'm tuned to about 9 megahertz Let's give it a shot. I've got the gain set about halfway. I'll try not to mess with the gain too much. And let's give it a go. We've started out with the Wellbrook antenna on 9565. Not a lot of difference there. Let's uh, switch back and see what happens. Wire. Wire. Well, Brooks, a little better here. Not much better. Alright, that's fairly interesting. Let's tune to a different band here and see what we get, if anything. We're on the Wellbrook antenna to begin with. Why? Sorry about the dog. The procrastination is the worst, I think, the worst disease, worse than any real disease because it's the one that is it's an illusion. Wired to Wellbrook, not a lot of difference. Los modelos son los del periodismo liberal. Entonces creo que esta es una actitud ya generacional en Cuba de los periodistas de mi generación, los millennials, como decía yo. Hace un momento, pues sí, o sea, queremos hacer un periodismo no partidario, queremos hacer un periodismo... Let's go for a fairly weak signal here. We're on the wire right now, let's switch to the Wellbrook. Okay, the Wellbrook's a winner here. That's not really a great signal. Let's go here. Oh, this is the Riyadh Saudi Arabia dude singing. I'm on the wire. there where that could have went either way where the Wellbrook was winning or the wire was winning so I know it's uh, an appealing thing to run out and buy a $330 loop antenna and think you're sitting on top of the world and then you stretch a piece of cheap Walmart coax out in the backyard hook it to a $12 Balin and just run wire off of it stretched across a fence uh, and, you know, not picked up off the ground, not installed real pretty or anything like that. And it, under certain conditions, uh, most conditions, performs just as well as the $300 loop. So these are my conditions in my location. Obviously, antennas are always going to act differently in different locations. 
you might not be able to replicate what I've done here um, but this is what I've got I mean I've spent a lot of money I've got a Wellbrook I've got a W6 LVP I bought one of the mag loops the Chinese loops uh, I have a, several dipoles uh, one of them's an Alpha Delta from ham radio outlet another one's homemade uh, and then I've got this uh, new look Balin one so I don't think you need to spend three hundred dollars on an antenna just to do regular shortwave uh, listening uh, don't feel left out if you're just running a wire out the window and some of us have got the big expensive loops because your performance could be on par or maybe even better than what we're doing so um, you know antennas are fickle things and they work differently in different places and I hope that we all learn something